Here I'm going to show how we can read XML documents that have GML geometry. What I received early on in the XML challenge was a file from a client who said, oh, I have a, an XML document, but I'm unable, I have a GML document, but FME is unable to read it. So obviously that um, filled me with great uh, excitement because um, here we, we want to read all GML documents. And um, what it turned out that what it actually was is the document itself, this is just a sample that's been um, munged up, but was in fact not GML, but was in fact XML with GML geometry. And so I thought to myself, well, we should be able to read that. Um, it, with FME 2011, we couldn't. You would, um, without great, great pain. So what we did is in FME 2012, we extended the geometry replacer to uh, be able to do that. So what I'm going to show now is how to read that uh, document. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with uh, Workbench, of course. And again, here I'm just going to go to uh, Null and we'll use the Visualizer to, uh, or the Data Inspector to show how to do that. Okay, parameters. The key thing again is in this case what we're going to do is we're going to say we want, we want to match on the, the element. So if we look at the elements in here, we'll scroll to the top, you're going to see that what we want is stand. So I'm going to specify stand in there and because um, what this document is is um, nothing but a bunch of stands. Okay, in this case two, as I said, this is just a, a, um, a small um, handcrafted example to illustrate the point. Okay, so I'm going to say stand. And I'm not going to flatten because um, I actually don't want to flatten it. At this point, I only want to split the XML document up into sub-documents with stand being each piece. So again, with 2012, that's very easy. I simply do that and um, I say OK. And now it's going to generate the uh, workspace that's going to uh, to do that. Okay, so now what I have is um, I'm simply going to have two. Um, if I put a visualizer on here and I run this, you see I'm going to have two features that um, are purely just big, huge chunks of an XML document. Okay, so I haven't created any geometry yet, so you can see the attributes here. And um, basically, the two things I have now are these XML fragments. Now, what I want to do now is I want to generate geometry from those. Each of those fragments has GML geometry piece. So what I can do is the geometry replacer now has a new option in 2012, which allows me to pick GML. Okay, and the source attribute is going to be fragment, and it's simply going to go through, and for each geometry in there, um, in the fragment, it's going to build a geometry. Now, if it finds multiple GML geometries, it's going to build an aggregate, and it will name the pieces appropriately, um, so that if you're going out to a system that supports multiple geometries per record, you're able to, uh, to do that as well. So I'll run that again, and now when the inspector pops up, you're going to see I have a, a, a geometry here, and um, if I scroll down, you'll see that it is in fact a multiple geometry, where the um, the first one's a polygon, and it has a name like that, okay, parcel, and then I go down there, and the next one is the an internal point um, on there. So there you go, right there. So that's... Um, um, as easy as it is. Now we still haven't dealt with the uh, the XML fragments. How do I actually explode those into attributes? Well, I can again flatten those. We have a new um, we have a, a transformer XML flattener. I put that down here, and um, you're going to see that I simply specify that the attributes coming from the XML is coming from an attribute. I specify that's in the XML fragment, and the elements to match. Um, are going to be, and again, it's going to be stand, okay? And the um, the flatten options, in this case, I am going to enable flattening, and you'll notice that now the, the GUI elements are consistent across everything. So the, the flatten options I see in the readers are the same as, in the XML are the same as in all the transformers. And so now I do this, and I run it, and you'll see that I now have effectively extract, built the features with the geometry from that, and I have flattened all the attributes. So now, 
Um, you can see here's all the attributes that have been blown out. So you can see that, in fact, um, I'm able to uh, easily um, um, take this XML and put it in the form where I can easily now move it to wherever I want. So there you go. That's how you do XML with GML geometry pieces.